Akiba has been my second home for nine years, so you can imagine my distress once I found out that we wouldn't be able to return to school this year. Akiba holds a very special place in my heart, and I believed that that environment couldn't have been mimicked. Akiba atmosphere was later unveiled, and it was a great substitute for what Akiba was before quarantine, but it still didn't feel the same. Jeremiah 2911 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The quarantine is hard, but in the end, it's all part of God's divine plan. Without it, I don't think I would have realized how much Akiba means to me and how much I would give to go back. Akiba has prepared me for what's to come, whether it's going to luncheon or being flexible and accepting that these are unprecedented times. Akiba has taught me so many things and I can't possibly name them all, but I'll name as many as I can. Color War at Akiba taught me that teamwork is the backbone to any successful group of people. Crew taught me that you can't predict everything, so you have to prepare for anything. Fundraising taught me that if you really want something, you have to work hard to get it. Davening taught me that God ultimately has control and, you should, and we should have faith that he's doing what's right. And quarantine taught me that you should never take for granted what you have, especially if you love what you have with all of your heart. In the last episode of The Office, Andy Bernard says, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you've actually left them. This quote perfectly sums up how I feel when I think about Akiba. Being at Akiba were the good old days and I wish I could have prepared for when they ended so soon. I'd like to say some thank yous. Thank you to Dr. Jones and Ms. Cap Ms. Schiller. Over the years, you have made sure I was taken care of at Akiba. Thank you, Ms. Cass, for always listening to what I had to say and for treating me like an equal. Thank you to all the staff for making sure that we were healthy and where we needed to be and that the school was clean and safe. Thank you to all my Judaic studies teachers for helping me develop my Jewish identity and teaching me that having faith in God never hurts. Thank you to all my general studies teachers for teaching me how to ask questions to further my learning. Thank you for meeting me during lunch and recess when I needed help. Thank you to all my friends for making me laugh, helping me with schoolwork, and being the people I turned to for guidance, jokes, and help when I needed it. Lastly, I'd like to thank my fellow graduates. You guys are the best grade I could ask for. I learn from you all every day and you make me laugh without even trying. I know this isn't what we expected when we thought about what graduation would look like, but we don't need to be together for me to tell you how much you all mean to me. There is a board nailed to a tree at my camp that says something along the lines of, it takes a minute to find a special person, an hour to appreciate them, a day to love them, but an entire lifetime to forget them. I wish you all the best in high school and just know that you're all very special people and it'll take a lifetime for me to forget you. Stay healthy and God bless.